In this tutorial, you will use a data object as the data source for the crosstab report. For this crosstab, you will specify sales offices as the rows, product lines as the columns, and profit as the measure. Navigate to Default Volume, Documents, Applications, BERT Sample App, Data Objects. Click the Classic Models BERT Data Objects Store. Interactive crosstabs appear in a new tab. We will specify sales offices as the rows for the crosstab. Scroll down the list of categories in the Category pane, then drag the field Office City and drop it into the Rows property. Next, specify product lines as the columns for the crosstab. Drag the field Product Line and drop it into the Columns property. Finally, specify Profit as the measure for the crosstab. Drag the field Profit and drop it into the Measures property, selecting Sum as the function. Click OK. Let's modify this crosstab to display profit for specific sales offices and products. You will filter the crosstab rows so that only U.S. sales offices appear. And you will filter the crosstab columns so that only planes, ships, and trains product lines appear. To filter the crosstab rows so that only U.S. sales offices appear, drag the Office City field from the Category Browser and drop it into the Filters pane. Choose In from the drop-down list. Then choose List Values. Select Boston, New York City, and San Francisco while holding the Control key to select all three at once. Click OK. Next, filter the crosstab columns so that only planes, ships, and trains product lines appear. Drag the Product Line field from the Category Browser and drop it in the Filters pane. Choose In from the drop-down list. Then choose List Values. Select Planes, Ships, and Trains while holding the Control key to select all three at once. Click OK. The Filters pane displays the two filters you just created. Interactive crosstabs provide drill-down on hierarchical dimensions, allowing you to see the detail behind aggregated summaries. To drill down on the train's product line so that data for individual train models is visible, click the plus sign next to the train's column heading. Next, we will add grand totals and subtotals for each product line and sales office. In the toolbar, choose Data, Totals. To add grand totals to the crosstab for sales office and product line, check Profit Sum in both row area and column area. Next, add subtotals to the crosstab for product line by sales office. Click Subtotals, then check Profit Sum, Product Line. Now let's display the crosstab data as a chart. Click the Chart tab to display a bar chart. To change the chart type, click anywhere in the bar chart, then click the menu icon and choose Edit. Click Type, then select Pie Chart. In this tutorial, you learned how to create a crosstab report and display the results in a chart. Thanks for watching.